Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a script I made that will allow people who don't want to install DWM manually to install my rice of DWM on their systems. So I'm going to walk you through how I made it, what it does, some of the things that it's limited in not doing, and um, some of the things that I'd like to do in the future. So let's go ahead and jump in. Alright, so first we'll take a look at the script on GitHub. So it's called DWM Ricer, not the most original name ever, but whatever. And basically all it has, it has the script, it has this image here, it has a readme, which is all this stuff down here, and it has the fonts that you'll need. Now, the, it, now the fonts themselves will not install by themselves. You have to do that on your own. And how you do that really is up to you. You can, a lot of desktop environments will allow you to just double click on them and install them that way. You can also move them to users slash share slash fonts, I believe. You may need sudo to do that. I'm not actually sure. Uh, maybe someday in the future I'll go through and have the script install them for you. But as of right now, these fonts here are the ones that you need to install. And that's just for the uh, icons up here at the top in order to actually show up. So you'll have to do that. Other than that, everything else is fairly easy. You just, you know, clone this and install it. And I'm going to show you this on Arch, and I'm going to show you this on Ubuntu. So, by default, the script is set up for Arch Linux. And uh, if you're going to use it on Ubuntu, you'll have to uncomment a line. So, I'll show you that as well. So, let's go ahead and go through and do it on Arch first. So, I have Arco here. This is Arco with XFCE. So, we're just going to start the the VM and let it start up. Now as you can see this is a brand new installation of Arch Linux or Arch OS in this case I guess. Um, I have done nothing to it. So the first thing you'll need to do is find the script. So just go to your Firefox or your browser or whatever and type in github hub.com slash mtwb47 that's my github page and click on repositories DWM Ricer and then copy this code here. Now, whether you do this on an Arch-based distro or you do it on Ubuntu, you will have to have Git installed before you can install this. Uh, the script itself will not install Git. Uh, you can't even get the script unless you, you know, copy and paste it, I suppose, uh, without actually having Git installed. So, open up a terminal. If you're an Arch, sudo pacman-s git. Okay, and I, uh, I know Arch already has this, so it's just going to be a reinstalling. Oops. Actually, I have to spell Pac-Man right. At. There we go. And then, as you can see, it says. Um, actually, maybe it does have have doesn't have Git installed automatic. So I'm glad I'm doing this. Lesson learned. Arco always has Git installed. I thought maybe not. Anyways, once you've got that installed, and we'll zoom in here, and make this full screen. Then you just want to git clone that URL that you just downloaded. So git clone and then control shift V to, to uh, paste and hit enter and it will clone it. And then we're going to cd into DWM Ricer and we can we can clear this and do an ls and we see uh, this file here will not be there. That's in there by accident. We have the script, we have the font folder, we have the screenshot that's on git and we have the readme. So if we vim into dwm install.sh, what we have here is just a simple bash script. And first thing we're going to do is install dependencies. So the dependencies are going to be different depending on what distro you're using. So if you're using Arch, all you'll need is sxhkd and alacrity. So, and, th and this is by default, it's uncommented. All you'd have to do if you wanted to is just run the script if you're on Arch Linux or are an Arch based distro. If you're on Ubuntu, you'll have to come in here and you'll have to comment this one out here. So get into insert mode, do a, do a pound sign, and then delete this pound sign here. That would, that would switch you from the Arch script to the Ubuntu or Debian based script. But I'm an Arch this time, so uh, we'll leave that one uncommented. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the dependencies for Ubuntu and Debian when we do that in a few minutes. So after that, we 
clone a few things. So we clone my scripts that will allow the um, scripts for the bar to work. And we clone my pack, my secless folder, which has DWM, ST, surf, and D menu all in it. All and it will all go into a suckless folder inside your dot config uh, directory. Once it's done cloning, it will CD into the suckless folder that it just downloaded. It will move the DWM to your home folder because that's where it needs to be. It will CD back into the home directory and then it will CD into the scripts, which is what the thing that it, it downloaded up here from Git. And it will move the weather.py, the pack update.sh to uh, user dash local dash bin, which is your main path. Now, weather.py will work on any distro, but pack update.sh will only work on Arch. So if you are downloading this for Ubuntu, just know that that particular script for the bar uh, will not work. Uh, so, and I'll show you that when I when we go to the Ubuntu part. After that, we'll CD back home. It will, do, and now we're going to do. Now we're going to go through and um, make the stuff that we need to make. So we cd into suckless.dwm and we remove myconfig.h because it's going to make a new one and it's going to sudo make install. It's going to do the same thing for st, sl status, and d menu. It doesn't do surf. I think surf is actually there, but it doesn't make it. So if you're going to want to want surf, you'll have to go through and make it yourself. It would be the same thing. You just cd into it, sudo make install, make sudo make install, and you'll be fine. Uh, SCD is back home. This one here is where things get a little squirrely. So uh, as CD is into the X sessions folder, and this what this does is it goes through and creates an entry in your login manager in order to create DWM in the login manager. For whatever reason, it required me to change the user to the user uh, on Ubuntu. I don't know if it had to do that on Arch because I tested this on Pop OS first. So um, it required me to change the user for some reason. So I just put this in here. It doesn't hurt anything to change it. So it's just done. So it creates a dwm.desktop file, changes the user, and then it cats this stuff out into that fol folder using a cool way of catting things, which I'd never used before. I had to look this up. So that's done. And that's literally the entire script. So let's go ahead and get out of this. And let's go ahead and run it. So in order to run it, you do dot slash dwm install.sh. Okay, and then you hit enter. It's going to ask you for your password. Now, I don't actually have to have the password because I've just entered the password earlier, but it will ask you for your password, and it's going to ask you to confirm whether or not you want to install these things. So it's going to install Alacrity. It's going to install SX, SXHKD. Hit yes. It's going to install those things, and then it's going to go through and do the script, and then it should be done. All we have to do now is close this, close this, and say close tabs, and we're going to log out. Now, uh, SDDM does not like VirtualBox all that much, so I have to get out of full screen and try to get this to work. Sometimes I have to go back into full screen and then back out of full screen and then try to get this to work. There we go. Now, as you can see, DWM is here. Now, this is going to look different for everybody depending on what login manager you use. Most distros use LightDM, so there might be a, a um, like little gearbox up here at the top. You'll just have to look for it, and then you just type in your password. We'll make this full screen again. And as you can see, we have DWM. Now, if you there are a list of my key bindings on the Git page for this, GitHub page for this, but super enter will get you a, will usually get you a terminal, and it does. So and this is alacrity. So that's how you get it on Arch. Now let's go ahead and jump to Ubuntu. Okay, so this is just a bog standard LTS version of Ubuntu. I've done absolutely nothing to it. Uh, and the process is basically the same except for a couple spots. So let me talk about those when we get there. So let's first get the script. It's going to be exactly the same. We open, open up Firefox, go to github.com, can't type, M mtwb47. And then repositories, and then DWM Ricer, and then we copy this URL here. Now we open up a terminal, 
and we zoom in so that we can actually see this. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is sudo apt install git. Okay, and then type in your password uh, and then hit Y for yes and it will install git. Now, that is an absolute must. This will not work without git unless, like I said, you copy and paste the script and then put it into a, you know, a text file and then change the uh, permissions on it. It's much easier just to install git. So, we'll clear this and we will go ahead and clone DWM Ricer. So we'll git clone and then control shift V to paste and let that clone. We'll CD into DWM Ricer. We do LS and we have the same files as we did on Arch. We're going to vim into DWM install sh. Oh, I don't have vim install, so I'm going to do that's another I could you could use nano so if you have if you don't have vim installed which apparently I don't on this machine you do nano dwm install okay now here's the things we're gonna want to do you're gonna want to go through and comment this out so hit the pound sign at the beginning of this line and delete this pound sign here okay now what this is going to do is download the dependencies that are required for Ubuntu so if we zoom out just a little bit so we can actually see some of this and make this full screen maybe. Um, it's still not going to be all be on one line. Uh, and I know that's going to bother some people that they can't, can't actually see this. So where the hell is my... There we go. Alright, so it, it's going to install SXHKD. It's going to install build essential, which is basically the make commands. And DWM requires libx11 dev, libxenorama dev, share utils, suckless tools, and libxft and libc6 uh, those are all dwm dependencies now you could theoretically install st and dd menu in this line here but i prefer building them on their own that way you can go through and patch them later if you choose to so after that the script is exactly the same so it, it goes through and does everything exactly the same there's nothing else you need to change you just need to, to save this which you can do by hitting control x and then yes and then enter. Okay, now here's the thing. Alacrity is not packaged for Ubuntu, so my build of DWM will not have a terminal functional for you if you are on Ubuntu. That's just a sad fact of it. Now if you're on Pop, you can install Ubuntu from their app store. You can't do that on Ubuntu, apparently. Uh, I'm actually, I could probably go through and make sure that's actually true. If this thing actually want to load, this is a snap, so that it's going to take a forever to load. Here we go. Um, so we're going to search for alacrity. I don't think it's here. Oh, it actually is here. So you can go through and uh, download alacrity from the. Um, the software center and you have to do that because I can't you can't do as far as I know you can't do sudo apt install alacrity no but you might be able to do sudo snap install alacrity no so you have to install it from the uh, the software center you have to do that before you log up and log back into DWM after you've done run the script because you'll need Alacrity. Otherwise, you'll need to go into DWM, the DWM folder in your config file, change the Alacrity thing. Actually, I think Alacrity is called from SXHKD. Now that I think about it, you'd have to go, so you'd have to go into the SXHKD thing in .dwm, which is in your home folder, change the Alacrity to thing to a terminal that you have. So either GNOME Terminal or Termite. I actually probably can't get Termite on Ubuntu either, now that I think about it. But anyways, so to run the, the script, it's exactly the same. So dot slash DWM, ricer, DWM install sh. Hit that. It's going to ask you. So normally you'll have to enter your password, but we've already done that once. So you don't have to do it again. Uh, and it's going to ask you to confirm. Hit yes. And then it will go through and install those dependencies. It'll take a few seconds. Shouldn't take too awful long. It would really depend on your internet connection, I guess. 
For me, it takes about, I don't know, 45 seconds or so. It's almost done. And then it goes through and does the script. And it looks like it was all successful. Now, here's the thing, and I didn't mess mention this with the arch. If it fails, the reason for the failure will be in this nonsense up here somewhere. You'll see an error. Now, we do have some errors here. That's just because there are some unused uh, functions within the DWM script that I use, for usually around gaps. But usually where you're going to find the errors is going to be up here either in the dependency section or after the build. And it will tell you that if it, if it didn't build, it will tell you why. Uh, and if you encounter something like that, file an issue on GitHub and I'll try to help you. But don't lose this if you enter, if you get a, if you get an error, copy and paste this stuff so I can actually see it. Okay? Uh, you can always go through and run the script again. You should be able to get the same errors in case you do lose it. All right, so you, we've ran the scripts. So all we got to do now is close this, close this, hit close tabs, and uh, no, I don't care about updates. And then we're going to log out. And then here in Ubuntu, you have to click on your name, and then there's this little, um, let's see if I can actually, main no camera. So down here at the bottom, there's this little uh, like gear or something. You just hit DWM, type in your password, and bada bam, bada boom, you're in DWM. And I didn't install Alacrity, so if I hit Control Enter, or Super Enter, I'm not going to get anything. So if you get to this point and you don't have Alacrity installed, Hit, con hit super P, that brings up D menu. Okay. And you can go through and type in a terminal that you, you know you, we do know that you know you have. So we know we have GNOME terminal. So it should be here somewhere. Good lord. There's a lot of GNOME shit here. Terminal. Yep. So we just open that up and we have GNOME Terminal. And then you can go through and install any of the things you needed to know. Um, in order to change this, so we, if you want to change to GNOME Terminal, so let's zoom this in here. We do cd into .dwm and uh, cd into sxhkd and nano, because we don't have Vim installed, sxhkdrc. And we change this word right here. To, oops. I, don't, I can't change word, Matt, because you're not in Vim. Ah. Nano sucks. You just change this to GNOME dash terminal or whatever terminal you want to use, and then you would hit um, we'd save this. So uh, Control X, yes, enter, and then you hit Super Escape to refresh SXHKD. Can't say the freaking letters, and then then if you hit Super Enter, you should get the terminal, which it did not do. I wonder why. There we go. It didn't actually go through and register uh, the SXHKD refresh, but it did now. So I can hit Control Enter as many times as I want. I don't know why you'd want GNOME Terminal as your terminal, but whatever floats your boat. Uh, the one thing I didn't talk about in this video is Rofi. I did not install Rofi. Uh, so I don't know actually, mainly because I forgot. So I don't know if we can sudo apt install Rofi. I don't know if that works or not. We'll see. It actually will. Okay. So now if we hit Super D, we'll get Rofi. So if you'd rather prefer Rofi, I think what I'll do is before I, after I upload this video, I'll go through and change the script so that it will install Rofi on both Arch and Ubuntu. That way this is possible because I do have all the Rofi stuff here. So, um... One thing it will not do is get my Rofi theme, so you'll have to get your own themes. You, you can just do Rofi. You should be just to be a little Rofi theme selector, but apparently that's not here. Um, anyways, that's the script. It's not a good script. I'm not a good Bash scripter, like at all. I, I mean, as you see, the syntax is very. Uh, childish, <laughs> immature, I don't know, um, amateurish, amateurish, eh, I'm still learning, but it works, it works, and I've tested on both Ubuntu and Arch, now if you're on a different distro, 
what I would suggest is commenting out both of those dependency install lines. Just comment them both out and install the dependencies on your own. Now, if you're on Fedora or OpenSUSE, I'm not sure what the dependencies are, but I'm assuming they're going to be the same as Ubuntu. I am not, not sure if the package names will be the same. You'll have to go through and find that out. I don't know. I've never installed DWM on on um, Fedora or OpenSUSE. The only thing I've ever installed it on is Debian-based distros and Arch-based distros. So, and I know that this script works in there. Now, if you, like I said, if you have an issue, file it on GitHub. I'll try to help. Make sure you give me as much information on errors that you received during the run of the script as possible so that I can, you know, try to help. Anyways, thank you for watching. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. I'd like to thank our patrons, Devon, Zach, Marcus, American Camp. Thanks for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.